you, Raymond. Well, first of all, I, I do want to say that uh, this was entirely unplanned that Bob and I would be wearing the exact same tie today. <laughs> it's very embarrassing, but it was unplanned. <laughs> um, listen, uh, this is a great day for the Warriors and, uh, and for me personally and our ownership group. Uh, Bob Myers, as you know, was a guy that uh, we targeted, we went after, uh, we looked at a lot of people when we were trying to change a lot of people in the organization a year or so ago. And we brought Bob in as the, as, uh, the young buck as the new guy, the future for basketball operations. And the intent from day one was that Bob would be the guy that ultimately, if he proved he was capable, <laughs> would, which of course you never know, it gave him some training time uh, to bring him in for, here for a period of time and us some evaluation period to see if he was capable of doing the job that we thought he could do. And we didn't know whether that would be one, two, or three years. We had a, an outstanding guy in Larry Riley doing the job, very experienced. And uh, Larry understood this, of course, as well at the time. Uh, and we had a long conversation about it. And the job was really for Larry, and you'll hear more about that today, to mentor Bob. And, as, and he will talk about that a little more today as well. He's done an outstanding job. And uh, we're really excited that uh, today we're going to announce the promotion of Bob Myers to the general manager role for the Golden State Warriors. We think he's going to, we think he is one of the finest young sports executives uh, in not just basketball, but really any sport. We're extremely excited to have him here now for the long term and to help grow this organization and uh, continue in doing some of the great things that Larry and the rest of our basketball operations staff and Jerry West uh, have initiated over the course of the last year. And we're going to take it to uh, hopefully great new heights. So I want to today welcome, uh, shake his hand officially, Bob, to uh, his new role as general manager of the Golden State Warriors. Well, thank you, Joe. This is, um, this is exciting for me. Um, a uh, little bit of a loss for words. Uh, this has been a dream of mine for a long time. My first, my first, um, NBA game was a Warriors game, probably 20, 25 years ago. So um, it's a great day for me, but what will be a better day will be when we get this team to a place uh, where we're playing beyond the regular season, where we're competing for a championship. That's when I'll really uh, feel excited. So I thank Joe, I thank Peter Goober, and I thank the rest of our owners for giving me this opportunity. Um, I'm not going to promise anything, but there's a quote I saw that says, uh, you cannot ensure success, but you can deserve it. So I'll tell you that we're going to work uh, with our staff to deserve to be successful and not stop until we get there. And we have a great team of people, and uh, including on the business side, Rick Welts, great addition, looking forward to working with him. And when I met him the first day, he said, uh, we were interviewing a candidate for a position, and Rick said, the three most important things in sports organizations are ownership, ownership, and ownership. So I cannot be successful without the strength and support of Joe Lacob, Peter Goober, and our ownership group. And they've shown, not with what they've said, but with what they've done, that they're committed to building a championship team here. So I'm just part of the team. I'm part of the group. I'm excited. Um, I've had a, a great mentor in Larry. And those of you that know him and have worked with him, I think would agree that across the lines of any sport, one of the most decent people and highest character individuals that you'll ever meet. So for me to be able to sit beside him and learn from him was a pleasure and an honor. And I can't thank him enough. And um, I'm thrilled that he's going to continue with the organization. And mostly I'm thrilled to get to work. We have a lot of work to do. Uh, but we're not going to stop until we get to where we want to go. So I thank Joe for the opportunity. And um, it's great that, that, that my love for the NBA started with this team. And so for me, it's more than just a job. It's, uh, I can't wait to get started.
Congratulations, Thank officially. Thank you. Before Larry speaks, I do want to say, because I did probably not do it justice, and Bob saved me here. Um, I do want to say that, Larry, uh, honestly, one of the, truly one of the nicest people I have ever met in any profession, in any business I've been associated with, and uh, truly all the time professional. Uh, and, you know, what I think most people will come to realize has done a tremendous job for this organization. Uh, Larry had to clean up a lot. And, uh, you know, we all talk about some of the things he did, certainly to add to the situation by making some great draft picks, well chronicled. Steph Curry, you know, Epiuta, which led to Andrew Bogut, very important. And certainly Clay Thompson and Charles Jenkins. I mean, these are, these are people who have done a great job. Uh, but he also had to clean up, you know, and improve our bench uh, from what it was a year or two ago. And I think he, he did a lot of dirty work. He did it with a smile, professionally. And, uh, you know, throughout this entire process since I began talking with this organization, you know, about acquiring it two years ago with our other owners, uh, he was incredibly professional, incredibly direct, and very, very helpful. You know, there's the term used, loyal soldier. Larry Riley really stands for that. He's been fantastic, and uh, uh, we just, you know, I want to thank him for a, a job great, do well done. And, you know, I know it's going to be looked upon by some of you as some sort of a demotion or something like that. That is not the case here with Larry. This was something we anticipated. I think, you know, Larry uh, deserves to um, have a little more flexibility in his life, and uh, he's still going to be with the organization as we can talk more about. And uh, we're very happy that he is because he brings a lot to it. And he's going to help Bob on a going forward basis as well. But I just want to thank you very much for, for everything you've done. Thank you, Joe. I think that um, all of you realize that um, when you get into our business, your days are numbered, so to speak, for certain jobs. And the first thing that I want to do is say that I'm totally pleased that Joe Lacob came along with Peter Gruber and bought this team. And with that came an opportunity for me to work with Joe and Peter. They've been straightforward. They have integrity that I cannot question. They are people who are bound and determined to win. And as Bob's already alluded to, they're going to back up what they say when it comes to getting to that point. If you're in our business, John Calipari has said the same thing, ownership, ownership, ownership. It's at a little different level, but what it means is to have the support behind the people who are working in order to win. This organization has that in Joe and Peter. We knew that Bob was selected to come in here and to be a young man who would grow into a position and that it would take place at some point. I've watched Bob work over these past few months. Uh, I've seen what he can do in terms of his relationships, not only with agents, but in developing relationships with other general managers and in his ability to talk and discuss what needs to be done for the team in terms of evaluating players and also having an eye on the salary cap. All of those things are in place. Bob, your wife's done a wonderful job preparing you for all of this, <laughs> but <clears throat> as well as some other things. But there's no doubt in my mind that Bob has a grasp of what the NBA is all about and that he's totally capable of handling this job. And while Bob and I together along with, with Travis Slank and Kirk and, of course, Joe being involved all the way through it, we've set the table a little bit. There's still more work to be done. We like the looks of the team going into the next year, but there have to be some additions. And in order to do that, Bob's got a lot of work to do, and, and whatever I can do to be of assistance, that, that's something that I'm anxious to do. Um, Joe has graciously offered me the opportunity to remain involved with the Golden State Warriors beyond my, excuse me, beyond my normal contract years. And uh, as Bob and I have talked about this, uh, it, the emphasis will very likely be heavy on the scouting end of things. And uh, we'll probably smooth that out as we go along because we've had some initial discussions, we have some general ideas, but anything that I can do to be helpful to this organization, 
um, I want to see this team win for all kinds of reasons. The, the Bay Area fans deserve it. And, and it's not that, that um, I want to toot anybody's horn about that kind of thing. Everybody knows that. But the area here deserves a winner. Joe deserves a winner because of the way he approaches his job as an owner. And I'm going to be selfish enough to say, look, I invested a lot of time in this thing. And I'd like to see the team win because when teams win, there's enough goodwill for everybody. And you can have a lot of good feeling about it. And so those kinds of things are what I'm seeing today. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to the future, looking forward to working. And uh, our next task is going to be the draft as we work together. And uh, there will be some things that uh, will come up before then. But all in all, I'm appreciative to Joe. I think Bob's ready to do this job without question. And I'm looking forward to being involved and being helpful in any capacity that I possibly can. Great. Well, if questions, then again, raise your hand and Bruce will come to you. Joe, you can talk about the timing of this. You said when you hired Bob a few years, I think I asked you a couple weeks ago, you said no decision, not, maybe not even close to a decision. Why now? You know, <clears throat> it's very simple. Uh, as we've worked with uh, together, uh, Larry and Bob and I, and uh, the rest of the group, and with Jerry all year, uh, it, you know, it all goes so fast. And when you're in the middle of it, Tim, so many decisions to be made. There's draft, there's trade deadlines, there's, you know, everything that's going on in the court. You come towards the end of the year, you start to reflect, and you say, okay, uh, where are we? What are we going to be going forward? And it just became apparent to me. Uh, and uh, the other owners that I confide in that Bob was ready to do the job. <clears throat> I didn't know, we didn't know when we hired Bob. You never know for sure. You can do all the reference checks you want, but until you work with someone, you don't really know. Working with Bob, he's outstanding. He has all the capabilities to do this and be really, really good at it. And uh, we just decided that rather than wait another year or two or you know, which was sort of the original plan, we were going to go ahead and make the move now and give Bob the opportunity to uh, continue to prove himself and give him the authority he needs to, uh, to, to go forward and to, and to do the job. And I think that Larry knew. We talked about this all along last year. We said it could be a year, could be two, could be three. I mean, we were sure. Uh, but it came to the point where we just – sat down, I sat down with Larry, and I said, you know, I think Bob's ready to do this job, and it will be a cleaner thing for uh, other general managers to talk to the Warriors and know who's in charge, and uh, for Bob internally uh, to coordinate our efforts. Uh, I just think it, 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 it cleaned up the lines of communication, and the guy was just ready to do the job. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Talk to the man in charge. Well, when your name, <clears throat> when general manager sits next to your name, you're responsible for making decisions. And when you're the owner of a team, you certainly have a say in what those decisions are. So I think the line of communication, and if somebody disagrees on this panel, they can speak. Um, I'm going to recommend to Joe what I think this team needs to do. With counsel from the team that we've, put in place to, to advise me. Um, and we've got a great team. Jerry West has been in the NBA a long time. So I'd be foolish not to seek counsel. But at the end of all the counseling and all the discussions, I'm going to have to make a recommendation to Joe. And we may disagree. That could happen. But we'll get there together. And, and, and if we agree on everything, to be honest, Matt, I'm not doing my job. If I just tell Joe, what I think he wants to hear, then I'm not doing my job. So I'm going to seek counsel from the team that we have, which is a very capable team, and then Joe and I will get together and make what we think is the best decision. I'll tell you this, nothing gets done without working hard. And we have a young, uh, vigorous group of people that are, that are wanting to see this team succeed. And then we have guys like Jerry West who 
is, uh, without being disrespectful, our, our old sage, who uh, can certainly add color to any decision we make. 